Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked's Action Figure Reviews. And today, I am back with another unboxing and review to do for you guys. And this time, I have the Ultimate Edition Series 11, The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, this is the second uh, Ultimate Edition Fiend figure that we've gotten so far. Um, excited to see this one. There's been a couple changes on it for sure. Uh, one of the big things, obviously, is the mask. Um, as we will pull it out and we'll compare it to the other one. We'll see how big of a comparison it is or a big of a difference it is. This uh, Fiend figure is pretty dope. Um, I can't wait to see what other Fiend figures they're going to pull out soon. I know the, the burnt one is already available. I've seen it in stores. Never pulled the trigger. I'm going to wait on it for a bit longer. Um, now he does come with a pair of basically an interchangeable head. Uh, he comes with interchangeable hands and the arms for the jacket, which uh, I'm surprised that this time they didn't uh, have the arms the arms and the hands together like in the first packaging and he of course comes with the entrance jacket there Which looks pretty dope. There you have a picture of the fiend with that updated mask The fiend Bray Wyatt here on the side ultimate edition right here a bunch of info on the bottom uh here you have the wwe logo ultimate edition and bray wyatt up here now in the back you'll have the picture of the figure and then you have the picture of the talent in real life and yeah the mask looks very different and to me uh, th this one i don't know why they changed it um i know there was something with it that they had to change but at the end of the day i think this one was scarier for some reason if they were trying to go for the non-scary mask ultimate edition figure there fiend bray wyatt a bunch of text right here or info and then more text right here so if you guys want to read that pause that right there i will bring bringing down my mock uh, fiend figure for the ultimate edition seven so we can compare as well uh matter of fact let's do that now uh, and of course, I do have another one of these uh, mock for my shelf, like I'm trying to do with the Ultimate Edition figures. Um, and then here is the other Fiend Ultimate Edition 7. As you can see, the comparison right there from the side pictures. The comparison right there in the boxes. Like I was saying, this one came with the hands attached to the arms this one doesn't the code is very similar the this one came with the uh fiend belt and then the the heads um basically the same as almost the same as the elite um 87 i believe fiend or 88 so there is some there's some comparisons right there to do with the boxes like i said so there's that now let's get to cracking this fiend figure out of the box. Can't wait to see to see the uh, the big differences. The figure. Um, now I saw this this figure only once in retail, and I didn't pull the trigger because at that time uh, Ringside had it on sale, and then uh, I didn't pick it up for quite some time after that, and then finally decided to pull the trigger. It was like $23 or something like that. It was pretty cheap, so um, better than paying the $32 on retail. So um, I was happy with this purchase. I got two of them, like I said, so I can add it to my shelf and all that. But here is the bubble on this fiend. Let's take out its head. Bigger head for sure. This is way bigger than the other one. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that hand just flew out of here. There's the heart heel hands iconic with the fiend figure. Pretty dope. There's this entrance jacket that we're going to take a look at it here in a bit as well. One of those. It's just funny because they add one tie to one arm and the other one is loose. Um, and then the same thing with the hand, so... I don't know what what one tag is gonna do so all right there's that 
little clip thingies that you, they come with. Alright. So, this fiend actually seems a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, I'm not sure if he's taller too. Um, he definitely feels different, uh, lighter for sure. I see a little bit of a difference in the colors as well. So we'll still take a look at, here, at that here in a bit. Here are the jacket hands. I don't know if this is going to be like a re-release of the other one. But we'll see once we compare the figure. But there's the arms. There is the entrance jacket thing. Um, there you go. And then the head. The head with that new mask. I, I think it looks longer. Uh, a bit bulkier for sure. Uh, looks scarier for sure too. I like the hair though. Like kind of a sideways hair. It's pretty sick. I might put that one on there actually. And this one looks weird because the hair is all the way back and you just see the whole mask. Um, it's very very scary for sure. There's the hair on that one. Fiend figure right here. And of course we know the, the open palm hands right here with the molded on uh, gloves but the thing is that they um they didn't co color this part in the little peg black i know right here makes sense because it's the skin is showing or whatnot but i mean at least do it from the front so i don't know if uh i'm gonna have to paint it or something because that looks kind of weird they also did it on the other hand for the uh, other ultimate edition and i haven't checked if they did it on the elite either so We'll take a closer look at that here in a bit. Now let's let me put on these hands on the on the arms here. I'll try to move a little bit quick that way this video doesn't take that long. Cool. All right, now let's see the fiend. Uh, he has that um, molded on shirt on the top of the torso. Some lacing right here on red as well as on the other side. Uh, some more lacing right here or stitching, whatever. So all of this is like molded on for that shirt detail that he has. All those wrinkles and everything. Looks pretty dope. He's not in his uh, normal tank top here. It's more in like a shirt. Um, moving down, he has the red and, and, and black striped pants. The little patches there that are like kind of molded on pants and then he has the 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 things right there and then uh moving down he has black boots with the uh, red uh details right there looks pretty dope he can uh articulate pretty well here all the way forward this one's kind of loose actually not and then double jointed elbows here. I don't like this shirt molding. Uh, the arms are, are kind of big for this figure in my opinion. The ab crunch is kind of also weird. Because he kind of ricochets back. Like a little spring. Um, you got to kind of pop it into position. But he doesn't go forward that much. You can twist the waist there. He does have this molded on shirt. Thing coming out pretty cool now the legs kind of suck because look at that he can't even kick that that form he's not on ball joints either now the waist rotation is pretty loose too upper thigh cut double jointed knees upper boot cut uh, ankle um, ankle pivot and then some toe articulation there as well um, I don't know how I feel about this fiend man I think I prefer the first fiend Here's the other thing for comparison. See the, the pants, first of all, on the Ultimate Edition 7 are darker. They have a bit more detail, in my opinion. The boots are way better, for sure. Um, the jacket is exactly the same. It looks bigger on this one because of the how it's molded and everything. And he has a tank top, which the shirt... It's probably going to fit on him. Like this thing's probably going to look bigger. Because of the molded on shirt. Um, the hands here. Are exactly the same. Everything is the same. But I feel like this fiend is way better. Than this fiend right here. 
Um, if you put the head on this one, it'll probably look bigger because of the way that it's molded or whatnot. So let's uh, let's put this on. seem to close this hand right here Dude, this thing's super hard this peg my peg is stuck on the, the hand so I'm not gonna be able to close it until I do I'm gonna probably heat it up the hand is super loose too on it it, it does look uh, it doesn't look that bad actually on the shirt I thought it was gonna look different Let's um let's put this head on. It sits kinda high because of the jacket. Uh I think I'm gonna keep this head honestly. I don't I don't like the other one. This one looks dope. Yeah, we wowie. Let's uh, let's try to put this head on this one. Uh, I guess that one looks doesn't look that bad. It's not too bad. I think this one looks way better though. This whole body is way better than it is. This fiend is a bit taller, even with the head change. This fiend, the new fiend, is taller. Um, so. I like I like I like the older feet better. The the accessories that you got with them was better. Everything was better. See, so you can even put the other fiend head on it, which I like this mask better. So I don't know. I'm gonna play around with this fiend and we'll see how I'm gonna use him in my fed as well. Uh, but right now, is it gonna go up in my shelf? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to follow my Instagram for all my in-store pickups and updates and everything. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.